materials you will need for this project is a ruler, an old paintbrush, pencil, a sanding block, PVA glue, modelling mesh, hot glue gun, coarse sand, fine sand, some offcuts of 5mm foam board and a sharp knife. To paint this crew fencing I'll be using four colours from the Revel Aquacolor range. That's black, dust grey, stone grey and leather brown. They'll be thinned with the aqua colour mix 2 and 1, um, so it'd be suitable to use my airbrush. This, from the Citadel range, I'll be using Codex Grey, Skull White, Carrack Stone, and Tyrant Skull. The two paintbrushes needed are a dry brush and a detailing brush. To start this project, we'll be using an off cut 5mm foam board. This will be used to create the base. The length of the uh, piece of foam board is 10.5 centimeters. The width is 4.6 centimeters. When cutting the foam board, make sure your fingers away from the ruler edge, and then do your cut. It's good to get into the habit of always retracting your blade back into the handle when you finish with it. Now that we've cut out the base, we're going to work on rounding off the edges. To do this, we're going to start by cutting small triangles out of each corner. As you can see, the edges are still reasonably pointed, and what we're going to do to cure that is to cut smaller triangles on those points. It gives a nice rounder edge. As you can see on this model which we previously made, it has a nice bevel edge. So the next step is to create that bevel by getting the utility knife and cutting away from you. The safest way to do this is to put the piece of foam board on its end and cut downwards. That way your fingers are kept away from the cutting edge and all your cuts are made away from your body. Now that we've made the base, we're just going to smooth it off by using a sanding block. Just go around each edge, it will make it nice and smooth and less rough. Once you're happy with how smooth the edges are and the way it looks, just clean off your desk ready for the next step. With the base out of the way, it's time to work on the fence posts. To do this, we're going to use the 5mm piece of foam board and cut small pieces as shown in the video. The measurements of each fence post is 1cm in width and 3.5cm in height. Now that we've done the fence posts, it's time to work on the mesh. 
The length of mesh is going to be 8 centimeters with a height of 3.2 centimeters. The mesh is plastic, so you're able to cut it with a pair of scissors. Now that we have all the components ready to make the piece of fencing, simply put the mesh on the piece of foam board and mark each end of it. This is where our fence posts are going to be placed. Once marked, grab the glue gun and put a small bead of glue on the bottom of it and let it bond. Make sure they're upright and not slanted. Now that we've stuck down one fence post, it's time to work on the fencing. Simply put a long bead of glue onto the piece of mesh and attach it to the centre of the fence post. Leave it there for a couple of seconds just to make sure the bond's been made. And that's one side of the fence made. And simply do the same process with the other fence post by adding a small bead of glue on the bottom and putting it at the end of that piece of mesh. As you can see the mesh is flexible so that way you can pull it out and put a bead of glue all along there on the mesh and attach it to the centre of the other fence post. That way it's all kept secure. And that is the main construction of the fence post complete. Now it's time to base it and to work on the paint. To texture the base and the fence post we've used two different sand mixes. For the base we've used coarse sand which has a larger grain and provides nice texture which is easy to dry brush. For the fence post we've used fine sand which gives it the concrete look that we're looking for. We've gone ahead and undercoated the model black. Remember to not use propellant for this because that will actually melt the polystyrene on the foam board. The first colour to be applied is dust grey. The second colour to be applied is stone grey. To do this, I'm going to have the airbrush at a 45 degree angle going downwards, which will actually provide a nice transition of colours between the, the uh, dust grey which has just been applied um, and the stone grey now. You can see it here. You have a natural transition of colour. We'll be using leather brown to paint the base. It's okay to get some leather brown on the bottom of the fence post or the fencing. This gives a natural weathered effect without using any other product. Now with the base painted brown, we're going to use Codex Grey and a detailed brush just to pick out some of the rocks. This will give some colour difference and just make the piece stand out a little bit more. The next step is to dry brush Carrick Stone on the base and over some of the rocks. The next dry brush is going to be Tyrant Skull. This is going to be lighter dry brush than the one previously done as it's such a brighter colour. Any 
rocks which come off during dry brushing, simply use leather brown to paint in those gaps. The last colour to be used is skull white. This is going to be dry brushed on the fence post as well as the stones on the base. To tidy up the overspray on the fence, just use black paint. Now that we've painted the piece, it's time to add some tufts to the base. Simply add white PVA glue to the base and place your tuft gently on it. And there we have it. A nice piece of security fencing, ready for your battlefield. Thanks for watching guys, see you again. For more tips, tricks and tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, we really do appreciate your support.